just want to get this started. So, hey guys, it's me, Hannah. Um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're just going to do a chatty get ready with me. Um, uh, I did this video already and I shot it already and um, half of the um, footage was missing and then half of it was out of focus. So there was no saving that. I already shot this with um, other products. I'm just not doing that type of look today. I'm filming something else today. So we're just gonna do something chill and I figured we could hang out. I changed the scenery as well because I feel like when I film upstairs, it's hard for me to see and it's hard for you guys to see. Especially with like the makeup stuff, I don't really want to do that. So I um, came down here. I'm just going to get started. We're just here to hang out today. Like we're going to get ready together. I'm going to use a couple new things. Um, I'm going to use the Jake Hesse palette today. She's um, here on YouTube in case you didn't know. This is her collab with e.l.f. Um, yeah, I gotta support the queen here, um, but I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm not gonna like really get into like all the products I'm using, because again, this is like more like let's hang out guys. I'm putting this on because um, this primer works better if you let it sit for a minute after you put on. I think I put way too much on. Um, my hair. This is why I get like stressed out about all the beauty gurus that don't move their hair because I can't. Um, Alright. Okay, this primer is great. It feels so sticky, but moisturizing? I really like it so far. I think I used way too much of it though. Okay, I'm just using my usual combo of foundation and stuff. I might use the Glossier concealer today though. I guess like the whole point of this video is actually kind of important because I wanted to get into like what's been actually going on. Sorry, I'm like really over here like being that bitch. Here's some Sour Patch Kids. Did you guys want some? You can have one if you want. Green. Oh. Green's my favorite one. This is an unpopular opinion. You can have this one. I'll share. Anywhere. <sighs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I was trying to talk and now I'm like, okay, I wanted to like be a little more vocal about what's going on in my life and really like, I don't know, we're trying things that make us uncomfortable this year, yes. And that involves vulnerability and being real about this shit. It's not like I'm over here and you guys are gonna get like any tea. Like, it, like social media is like, you see this much of somebody's life and um, I'm not gonna be like sharing everything with you guys, but I, I do wanna like share some things with you guys and, um, cause I appreciate that, um, when other YouTubers that I watch do that. And, um, all right. Everything I'm using, by the way, I'll put it in the description box, even if I don't like talk about it, in case you're like, oh, I like that, what is that? It's in the description box. Um, anyway. So I guess it hasn't really been like a year quite yet, um, but it's been like a while. I've, um, my um, anxiety has been like extra bad. Yes, I deal with um, anxiety and I was um, dealing with it. It wasn't as bad before and I was dealing with it in my own ways. Um, but it just started like to be, I don't know, crippling. Life happened basically last year. Um, and thing, when things are like out of, it was out of my control, stuff that I didn't want to happen that happened. And um, 
And then it was just like one thing after another, after another, after another, and then I was thinking about it and I feel like it's not necessarily just this instance that I'm talking about. It's just been like years of it, like um, years of like similar shit. Basically with like relationships, you know, it could be friendship, love, etc., you know, and I feel like I've just gotten similar outcomes in a lot of um, situations in my life. I was having a hard time dealing with the cards I was dealt. Um, and then it was just like a lot of other stuff too. Dealing with like, I don't know, re-getting to know myself essentially because of like how shitty I was feeling. I don't even know how to describe how bad my anxiety was. I felt like I was in a hole and I was just like, well you can call like the whole like rock bottom. Basically it felt like that at least. Like I'm laying on the fucking ground of this hole and I'd pick myself back up and I'd start to climb the ladder and then there would be missteps. I would fall back down the ladder I'd get back up, climb back up, I'd take steps up, steps down, I'd fall back down, I'd hit the bottom again, and then I'd do it again. And it just felt like this vicious cycle and I wasn't helping myself the ways I needed to be. Um, and I was honestly not only freaking myself out, I was freaking out, um, well we'll just say it, it was Brittany, because I work with her and I live with her. She sees me the most, I talk to her the most, like, I was freaking her out because uh, my behavior was so, like, erratic and not myself. And it felt like, okay, this, we'll put a timeline on it. Maybe it was, like, last summer because this is, um, that's, like, around the time it started, like, getting, well, it's, it was before that, like, way before that it started to, like, kick in and I didn't realize, but, um, summer was, like, when it was really, really going on. Um, that's, okay, I'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> I'm just gonna powder my face and continue, because I can't tell a story for shit. I don't know if that's, like, the fire sign in me where I can't, like, focus on getting the story out, and I have to, like go in a million directions here so summer it's like super bad and it is so bad that it feels like I don't know the best way crippling I can't get out of bed I'm not functioning normally I have it's very physical I'm crying all the time like it was just bad 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 I didn't do a lot this summer like at all actually the last whole year like was just a nightmare worst fucking year and I didn't do like anything. So that's why I'm trying to make the most of this year, hence me on YouTube doing this right now. Um, my forehead is like, hi, let's crease. Cause you're talking too much and not setting your face. Okay, so I was like scaring Brittany. Um, because like, I don't know, and I'd have these weekends where I wouldn't get out of bed like the whole weekend. I wouldn't talk to anybody. I didn't do anything. It wasn't like this all the time. I did get out and I've been trying to do much better about these things and I have been. It's been a slow progress, but at this time it was not good and I was not, I was struggling. Um, and she was just like real with me and she was just like, maybe you should look into like talking to somebody. So in, July, I started seeing my therapist. Um, and I still see her. I was doing this weekly for a long time. I was doing this weekly and then eventually, by fall, I was on my first antidepressant, um, which was interesting. It was not like a knockoff of Wellbutrin. So that one you like, there's an adjustment period <laughs> and let me tell you it was not a good time it just like made things like worse before they got better um, I was already 
like with high anxiety and stress, like I would say it's normal to have a lot of irritability and mood swings and that was really apparent with me. And also when I would get on my period, this high stress, high anxiety would just make me crazy. Like I was just too emotional, I felt like I didn't have control and it was like this for quite some time and then I feel like I adjusted to the medication and it was helping. Um, you just never really know what somebody's going through when you see like this much of their life on social media. There's a lot of times where you probably wouldn't have guessed like I was upset and like feeling the anxiety. Um, that's why I didn't really do a lot this year, or I would leave things early, or etc. Even when I traveled, like, and when I was in DC, I cried, like, all, every night because my anxiety would be really bad in the morning and really bad at night. Um, cried on holidays. Like, it was just, like, a Ms. time. Um, I feel like I'm all over the place with this story because I mean I'm just trying to be tell you like the quick version of this basically and give you some information and insight what's been going on. The hole I was in, I feel like maybe like this month, maybe last month, I feel like I've like made a lot of progress and I feel like I'm out of the hole for the most part. I noticed, because I feel like I'm the most level-headed I've been in a very long time. Um, and it might, I don't know, maybe it does, I don't know, I feel like I've, I can deal with things like better and I'm gonna go into like what I think helped me. Oh, I didn't mention, um, I think it's been a couple months now, but I got put on another antidepressant, which is a knockoff of Zoloft, and um, I went on this one with like the intention of coming off the, the first one, and I actually came off of it yesterday, the first one, so now I'm just taking one antidepressant, which is kind of great, and I feel good about that and I don't feel crazy or anything. So I would say we're in a good place with that. I'm just taking my time and I'm working on myself, for myself, and that's it, period, period. Like, I'm not, I don't know. I just wanna be fucking happy. You know what I mean? Like, and I just feel like I need to get my mind right to get that. I don't think I'm gonna get it if I don't. So, well I feel like you guys got like a good summary about what's been going on with me. I hope it makes like some sense here because I'm not get going into detail about this stuff because I don't really want to and I'm not going to because this isn't like, oh, we're here for the tea. There's no tea. <laughs> there's none, I, there's no drama, there's no tea. Like we're just working on ourselves and we're doing us and making our life what we want it to be in 2019. Um, hence me on YouTube, hence me doing the things that I've been trying to do. Um, and I feel like now that I've been out of the hole I can really see the progress I have made as a person. And I feel like I've really gotten to know myself a lot more. Uh, and I've learned so much about myself through this anxiety, even though it's been like the most painful experience of my entire life. And I hated it. And I'm still dealing with it. Like yesterday I had fucking awful anxiety. The day before I had awful anxiety. But it's like, I feel like I have a better, I have better tools to deal with it in a way which, yeah, growth, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I always appreciate when other YouTubers talk about this kind of stuff because it makes me feel less alone. Like Samantha Ravendahl on YouTube, she talks about, she'll talk about her mental illness from time to time and 
that has helped me because like I feel like I'm very similar to her and I relate to her and so I relate to Kathleen Lights too. She literally just made a video about her anxiety and what she does to help cope. It, it's crazy. It went up like the day after I filmed my first time and I'm just like, we're all going through it. Like everyone is going through their own shit and even if you think somebody has it together, they don't. And we all just need to be conscious of that and be kind to one another because seriously, what the hell? Anyway. Um, but I'll still talk about what helped me. Well, what has been helping me. Um, well, one, I would say therapy and knowing that it's okay to get help has helped me like in the most real way. I don't know where I'd be right now if I didn't get help. Um, I probably could have benefited from going to therapy much sooner than I did, even like before my anxiety probably hit the fan. I probably could have used it, <laughs> clearly. Um, like if anxiety, my anxiety can like punch me in the face into like a earth shattering thing, maybe I, I honestly think I could have benefited from talking to someone sooner to like figure myself out because I clearly didn't have a good grasp on how bad my situation could be or like I guess I didn't know enough about myself and now I do I, I think I do I have like way better idea about my feelings who I am what my values are etc but I'm getting into that in a second but I think I um could have benefited from talking to someone sooner and I'm thankful Brittany is the one that reached out really and told me yo dude you should just maybe you should talk to somebody and I realized she was right I was not only scaring her I was scaring myself and I'm in a better place because of that and um oh that's pigmented okay Jake is um okay Jake is <laughs> um But my, honestly, if you were considering going to therapy or talking to somebody, I highly recommend it. You don't, like, it's not as bad as, like, you would overthink it to be. Like, it's quite comfortable and um, you don't have to go all the time. I went weekly, then I went bi-weekly. Now I just um, started, well, I established last time because I went the other day and I'm going to start going every three weeks now instead of every two. So we have progress. Mm. All right. Um, progress and growth. Hello, 2019 vibes. Okay, so anyway. Well, I think she set me up with a lot of the tools I needed to deal, with, like coping mechanisms, better coping mechanisms. And you know what, what was I saying? Cause I lost track of thoughts here um coping mechanisms and she also all right it's nice to vent to somebody that has an outside view of your life and that doesn't know the people you're talking about or know what's like the whole it's just like somebody to listen to you and it's just about like you and your stuff like you know I don't know, dealing with the stuff easier and you know what it's been great um it just gives you a fresh perspective and she's like helped me with a lot of things with that kind of stuff but anyway i'm gonna list resources down below um if you feel like you need to get help or want to or interested into it if forever whatever you're going through i highly recommend it there's even apps if you don't want to sit down and talk to somebody. There's so many options out there for you. Don't feel like it's like wrong. The whole reason I'm talking about all this is because I want to talk about how normal it is to, I don't know, go to therapy, be on antidepressants, do all this stuff. You would have no idea. This is like the point I'm trying to make. You have no idea what other people are going through. And it's so normal and I don't understand how there's still like such a stigma with this kind of stuff. I guess I'm just gonna put this all over the lid. 
But anyway, I don't want to like harp and rant and rave about just this the entire time because there's more, I want to talk about more than just therapy. Um, but I might use Taviat today. I might be feeling a little bit of shimmer. Ooh, pretty. Um, again, I'm gonna talk about YouTube because YouTube was something that was there because when you're dealing with anxiety and it's like crippling to a level you don't really wanna leave your house, you don't really have a social life. Um, and it's still something I'm dealing with. It's just like my introvertedness on top of it that I'm like fully embracing and I have no problem with that at all. But anyway, I, I highly recommend this for the summer, by the way, it's Top Yacht, again, from Tarte. One of their chrome shadows, they're so pretty. It's just like nice like gold wash here. It's so nice. All right. I'm actually going to use the brush from the J Kiss of Palette underneath because um, it's a nice pencil brush and all my brushes are like dirty. Anyway, this is a nice shape for underneath, just saying. Because I really dig those Anastasia brushes and this just gives me like a vibe of an Anastasia brush. Anyway, YouTube, I, that's what I think I was trying to say, was a big thing to help me when you don't have like a social life. YouTube, I don't know if, if it's gonna make sense unless you watch a lot of YouTube like me. It's like visiting your friends and hanging out when you watch YouTube, like a lot of it. Cause you follow these people and you know them and you know what's going on in their life and I wanna be this person for people too. It's just like, I don't know. It's comforting and it's fun. I, I just love YouTube. That's why I wanted to do it so badly. But um, it was there and it was something that was familiar to me because my anxiety was so bad. I didn't, nothing felt, <laughs> I didn't want to do anything, anything that I liked. I was just disinterested in everything. It's just like, this was something familiar that I could still do and it was there for me. And you know what, again, about the people that talk about what's going on in their life, it makes you feel less alone. And it made me feel less crazy. So here we are. Now I'm doing the same thing, doing Get Ready With Me where I talk about all my issues. Um, and that was another thing, Jamie Page on YouTube um, talks about this, like, cause she deals with her own shit too. And she's like, when I feel like crap, what I do is turn on the camera and film and talk. And this turned into Samantha Ravenel that I referenced before. She posted a video like not that long ago saying like she wasn't doing great. And she try was trying the Jamie Page <laughs> technique. Here, am I, here I am trying to be more open about this stuff too. Okay. I'm trying to decide what I want to do next. I think I'm gonna leave the eye look like this. YouTube was a big thing. Um, my therapist um, turned me on to yo- Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Okay, might as well just finish this. I didn't put brow gel on. I'm like looking at my brows and I'm like, wait, I wasn't even done with my eyebrows. Um, I'm putting on mascara. Um, she turned me on to yoga, and this also correlates with YouTube. I started doing yoga with Adrian. I highly recommend if you wanted to try yoga, or if you feel like, mm, I feel like crap and I wanna work out, but let me tell you, it's life changing and you feel amazing because it's all about like breathing and shit. And yoga with Adrian just is such a positive light in this world and we need to protect her because she is just everything. And her dog Benji is so cute. But anyway, she she brings like positivity and like will give you like she just brings a lot of wellness and like overall like positivity and like makes you have perspective about stuff as well. And 
I'm gonna tell you guys my favorite one. I'm gonna link it down below. Um, it's the self-love one. It's a full practice. It's an hour and it's my, fa my personal favorite one. I've revisited that one so many times. I highly recommend trying it. Poetry is another thing. Um, I kind of fell into these whole, this hole of um, poetry and then Alyssa recommended me some people and then I, it turned me into a whole of um, a whole bunch of poetry people. I'll leave some of my favorites um, down below too. Um, like R.H. Sin was one of them, um, Lang Leave, etc., etc. Like, I'll leave some down below um, that I was enjoying. Because you know what it was about poetry? It's like these people are putting your feelings into words that you don't know how to express and it really helped me deal with and like actually process a lot of things that I was feeling. Um, you know, like that's what I wanted to do with this stuff. I want to actually process it, not just sweep it under the rug. And these people like really helped me with that. Writing has been another thing that's helped me quite a bit. When you feel like you have thoughts, it's been nice to just like I've been just writing in the notes on my phone. When you have like a thought that you feel like you need to express, I just feel like it's nice to just get it out into the world. Well, not into the world, it's just in your notes. It's just for you. But I feel like getting rid of the thought and like expelling it from your mind to like a journal or your phone or something, it kind of gets it out of your head a little bit. So I would just write in my phone. I haven't been writing as much as I was, but like, it was really, really nice when, like, my anxiety was bad, just, like, right in my phone. Expel these thoughts and get them out of my head and somewhere else. Um, do I have feathery brows yet? Are they feathery? I need feathery brows. Okay, whatever. There's been a lot of music. I know Kathleen mentioned this. I'm going to do the same thing as her and just, like, list a bunch of my favorites on the screen. I'm going to write them. Can you see them? Or we, did we write them? You could screenshot this if you care or give a shit about music that I'm interested in. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, another thing that helped me, social media break. I don't know, I highly recommend. I think phones are toxic and they drive us all crazy. This will drive you insane. Sometimes the stuff you read, it doesn't even have to be like people in your life or drama or anything. It's just like the whole world in the place that we're in right now, like it stresses me out. Everything is like crap. <laughs> oh my God. I don't like thinking about it. I'm gonna use the Jay Kiss mascara on the bottom. Cause like, yeah, I wanna use the brown. Um. Ooh, I can't talk and do this. <laughs> and here I am like, <laughs> ew, <laughs> my mascara face. I'm sorry if this video isn't really funny. I guess it's not meant to be like a funny, upbeat video as of right now, but I guess it'll, I don't know. Anyway, social media breaks anyway. I don't know what lip to do, because is that all I have left? I would, I think I took like a month off. I think it was like a month. But then I, I still am not using certain social media. So like I stopped using Snapchat. I don't really go on Facebook anymore. I'm just trying to like remove myself from like, I don't know, I don't really give a shit. You know, I don't know. Why do I need Snapchat and Instagram? I'm trying to pick, find a lip here. I don't know what I want to use. Um, I don't know, just like I feel like you get like a real, real clarity removing yourself from that for a little bit and it's just nice to take a break. Um, I highly recommend just like take some time, take a week like in the summertime. I challenge everyone to try to do that because we're so like into our phones like fuck that. 
I don't know what lip to do. Should I do a colored fun orange lip? From the, This is like from the ColourPop Spring Collection. It's Seven Springs. It's like a really pretty... What? What? <laughs> um, okay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I don't feel like dealing with that now, so we're going to do what I... Oh, I want to wear it! Fuck. Why did it... No, you know what? My eyes are like kind of like a yellowy color. I don't really want to do that. I guess there's certain things I was watching too that helped me a lot. Like, uh, for one, okay, one big thing was Drag Race. Okay, the positivity and confidence. Like, I need their confidence. Like, all the queens, give me your confidence. Because, wow. <laughs> I just like thrive off of their energy and I'm just like, I don't know what fucking lip I'm gonna be wearing. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna do a nude. That's really bright. I can always put gloss over it if I don't like it. Um. Alright. This is an ultra blotted lip. Great. That's as good as that's gonna get. I kinda wanna put lip gloss on top of it because I feel like my lips kinda look dry. That was in the shade Vitamin C in case you were wondering. They still have it. It was like part of their summer collection last year, but it's still on there. And this is the shade um, Partly Rowdy in their uh, So Juicy Gloss. Alyssa turned me on to this and I die. Uh, it's so good. It's sticky. If you don't like sticky gloss that much, I don't know if you're going to like it. Because it's like that plumping. You know what it reminds me of? It's kind of like reminding me of uh the Marc Jacobs one. Ooh. I can't talk into the color pop makes really good lip gloss. But anyway, um good. I'm just gonna do this. Hopefully you guys got like a sense of like what I was going through and like what I I do to like help myself cope. And you guys have been, oh, we're going to highlight my shoulders and stuff while this dries. Because <laughs> um, if I'm wearing a tank top, we got to have some highlight here. I need to get, like, I kind of want to get the Fenty Body Lava and look like Rihanna. But anyway, I'm going to try to get some of this this summer. <laughs> um, I'm glad we can hang out while I get ready to hang out with you guys again when we go to the thrift store. But um, I hope like all of this made a lot of sense and you guys appreciated me talking about this stuff because I mean, it is kind of a lot uh, for me to share all this because somebody that was, is dealing with a lot of things and um, issues with putting myself out there and vulnerability and sharing how I actually feel about things. It's nice and I think this is part of my journey to share with you guys. So, sorry I'm like cleaning while I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna uh, go refresh myself and head out. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video.
we can further talk about this stuff. Hopefully it helped you. Um, oh, I wanted to talk about Scientology so bad. I don't know if I'm gonna because I'm scared because the church might come for me. But let me know if that's something you guys want to see. Maybe I can talk about it further because I've been like researching. I've been in a hole. Let me tell you. Holy shit. There's some fucked up shit going on. It's a fucking cult. People are getting abused. It's just crazy. They're getting taken advantage of. I had no idea like half of the shit that goes on and because like all you really get is this whole like, oh, it's kind of wacky and Tom Cruise is crazy. Am I right? I, I just saw like South Park jokes about it and like little stuff like that, but um, never to be like, um, I didn't even set my face. I'm over here like doing the closing and I didn't even set my face, but I had no idea the level of bullshit. If you want to, um, me to make a video about it. Maybe I'll just do it when I get ready with me and I'll talk about some stuff that I learned. Um, until then, maybe you should um, watch the video I watched that kind of started my train. Actually, it was two things. When I was in Florida, I fell asleep listening to Kendall Ray's podcast, Mile Higher. Um, she does it with her husband and they did one on Scientology and I fell asleep to it. But then recently she uploaded another video, which is like Scientology, you're just gonna get like a brief synopsis here and I feel like that would be like a good place to start because she gives you like a lot and she might do a follow-up video too. Anyway, I'm not gonna get too into that because I'm gonna just rant and rant and rant. Um, but, okay. That and then that brought me to Leah Remini's show, Scientology and the Aftermath and it's on Hulu. Cause also if you have A&E, it's an A&E show. And I'm on like season three of that right now. And I... Oh, and if you have HBO, Going Clear is a documentary and it's really good too. And it has some of the people that worked on, um, that are on Leah Remini's show on there. Highly recommend. Oh my God. I'm going to leave everything like that in the description box if you guys want. I'll just talk about it in another video because this is already way too long. Um, all right. Well, I'm just gonna see you guys in the next one. I <laughs> hope this like makes sense and I have a coherent thought <laughs> throughout the whole video and it's like clear what's going on. Okay, oh my God, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the thrift store today because you know, that's, that's what we're doing today. All right, I'll see you in the next one, bye. <laughs>